everybody. The other day I posted a couple pictures of the van I'm working on. And I got a lot of feedback on it. And a lot of people asked on if I would do a small how-to on the Freak Bubbles. I've got it all taped up. And what I'll do is I'll show a picture. And of what it looked like. And a small how-to of, of basically how to do the uh, space scene in the video. I mean, uh, in the picture. Basically, all that I did is tape all this out here and then shot. The, the van was completely black and I taped all this out and then shot uh, over, very over reduced white and then shot some candies. Um,. And I'll explain it all in the video. And I'm be doing everything in in the video with the Infinity from Harden Steinbeck. And what it is, it's a .15 airbrush. That's the, the smallest tip I think they make. There might be a a point one five one a point one two, but I'm not sure. But this is the uh, Point one five. Uh, yeah, so let's go over the paint booth and and uh, get it all set up and uh, we'll start. So see you over there in a second. <coughs> okay, we're in my spray booth and I've got my Harden Steinbeck Infinity and it has a point one five needle. And I'm going to try to do this over the camera so you guys can see the freak dots. And basically what I've done is take the House of Color candies and over reduce it so it's super thin. And you start out by doing a, 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 a little dot. Once you get your little dot, just do air. And you kind of force it out like that. It's kind of hard to do. You just want very, very little, little, very little paint. When I did the, the hood of the, the van, it took me about an hour and a half between all three colors. And you want to be very close to the, the the piece you're working on because you just want just a little bit of paint
See, so kind of about like that. I might have my compressor just a little too low. I'm running about maybe 10 PSI doing this. There's a good one. And there's another one inside of it then. But once you get your first dot going, you just do air to kind of blow, blow it out. So you guys that was asking me how to do the freak dots, that's how it's done. And hopefully it's showing up on the camera. I know my lighting's not real good inside my booth. That's how the freak dots are done. You just kind of rotate them around a little bit. And you just low pro low pressure, maybe 10 10 psi. You get real close to it. And it's over reduced candies. There's a good one, it's going to be a wide one. You know, to do this kind of stuff, you can kind of play around with them a little bit. And you can do uh, where they're inside of each other. Where The one I did on the van, the nose of the van, I did two colors inside of them. Just kind of playing around with them a little bit. You only need a couple drops of paint to do this. And uh, you just to, to, to do it, you know, you just gotta have a pretty stand, steady hand and play with it a little bit. And uh, But you got to get the needle pretty close to it. If you reduce it even more, you can get it to walk even farther and blow it out. kind of like that. Um, the other half of this, I'll show how I did the, the black and the most moonscape of this, but um, that kind of gives you the idea how to do this. Um, I'll catch up with here in just a minute. Okay, everybody. This is uh, the side of the van now, and basically what I'm going to do, I don't know how this is going to work, um, let's come over here a little bit. and a little bit of really over reduced white for a background and basically what I did I'm not doing the full Saint 
space scene. I mean, uh, you know, the castle of the van. I hope that's showing up. I, I, I just did uh, like a like a mountain. You'd be a would be a, a mountain. Um, I just took a piece of masking tape and tore it. I'm trying to make this, you know, fairly quick for you guys. I shouldn't have done that. And I'm going to take this off for a minute. Because it ain't going to fit on the stand. But you'll see, get the idea here in a second. But basically what you're doing is pushing stuff back. And basically all I have is the circle template. And I just made a, a, a circle for like a moon or a sun. I just have a piece of masking tape on the back of this. And I just have a couple drops in of a uh, weight, really over reduced weight in my airbrush. Basically, all you're going to do is end of my weight, so I'm going to try to make this quick as I can for you guys. <coughs> and all this is is, is a scratch pad. I just tore it. And you'll kind of make clouds with it, random patterns with it. Kind of like that. And if you want a darker I'm adding a couple drops of over really over reduced uh, black now. And it'll push them clouds even farther back. It'll be like a, a stormy cloud. You can put it in front of your moon. And see it kind of changes the mood all together. thinner in here to clean that black out. Doing pagan gold, 
crossed over to the sun, I mean the moon, and kind of these couple clouds here. All I did was put two drops in there. And then you kind of want to do it in the middle there. Now that was a blue color. Yeah, I missed the color. This is magenta. See, it don't take much for the the uh, to get a uh, a uh, a night seam going and then this is a dark voodoo purple That's your night scheme. Night scene. Night scene. So you can come right back and push these clouds. Right back out. If you want to. And if you want it to be like a like a stormy light, but add a little black to it right over top of the, your white. It'll be like a like a storm with a like a dust seam. It'll tone that white right back down just a little bit. And then all you have to do, look, you got like a mountain off to the side. And what I'll do is I'll clear. Both panels for everybody. The freak dots and uh, the the night sky for you. And uh, 
And the one thing I didn't show you is speckle the wing. And what that's what you do is is uh, to make stars. You uh, load up your airbrush with paint and speckle the wing. I guess I should have showed you guys how to do that. And it's a little too late now. I I don't have any more air uh, white paint. But what I'll do is I'll clear this and show you here in a couple hours what it looks like all cleared. <coughs> and uh, but that's the basics of it. And uh, everybody's wondering how to do it. And, um after seeing my van um, so hopefully this kind of gives you the basics of how to do it and there's other guys that do it and they do it a little different way so hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, hope to see you guys doing this a little bit and we'll see you soon all right everybody uh, the clears dried a little bit and basically all I did was use my uh, cheapy clear I use for tiny little parts. I didn't mix up 2K um, for this. Uh, but you can see how reflective it is a little bit. And you can see the candy shining through. But this is all you basically have to do. And you can see the freak dots showing through and the sun and I mean the moon and the clouds but that's basically all you have to do um, I watched just a, a handful of videos and on kind of airbrushing uh, moon paint I mean uh, full size and kind of put it on you know our 125th models and and uh, I watched a, a lot of moon I mean uh, van videos and I just kinda nobody will explain how they really did this in the 70s it's kind of a lost art and I practiced a little bit and so I I hope you guys enjoyed on how to do this. Uh, you know, I learned from a, a, a custom guy in the late 80s, early 90s. And there's one thing that he never taught me how to do. I just kind of learned how to do it and, and playing with some paint. And uh, I got it down. I just over reduced some paints and candies and uh, so hopefully you guys experiment a little bit and uh, and the, there's a couple videos on how to do uh, landscapes and stuff like that but they're full size so hopefully this gives you an idea on how to do it hope you guys enjoyed this um, I'll do a couple more on other things uh, I'm just starting to do on the small scale I used to do other stuff but I'll do it some other stuff hope you guys like this you guys have a good one and we'll talk to you soon